What's going on guys, it's Raul TV, Team R4UL, your favourite YouTube mechanic, back again and I know what you're thinking, I know exactly what you guys are thinking, uh, what's happened to my face? Right, okay, so uh, yeah, mishaps happen, you know, uh, at the barber and everything, so uh, yeah, made a mistake, okay, we'll, uh, what, we'll, it'll grow back again, put it that way, it will grow back again and yeah, you know, a new look, new look for Raul TV, yeah, anyway, let's get on with the show. We've got a Vauxhall uh, Corsa here, 2018 Vauxhall Corsa. We're going to go ahead and replace the front brake pads. Dead easy. You can do it outside your house. No problem whatsoever on the drive. All you need is basic tools. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Right, the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take the brake fluid cap off. There we go. Right, okay. The next thing what we're going to do is obviously I've took the wheel off. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to take the wheel off. Uh, dead, dead easy. I mean... 417 milli bolts okay take them off and it should come off I mean if you can't take the wheel off like I say in all my videos you shouldn't really be attempting this, this job but anyway uh, that's the wheel off and the next thing what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and take this clip off all right so you two hands basically to do this job one hand to hold the clip the other hand to pry it off there we go like that the bottom one should just come straight off that clip comes off right then to make your life a little bit easier turn the wheel towards you It'll make your life a lot easier. Uh, I mean, if you can't if you can't turn it here, uh, you know, towards you, just turn it on the steering wheel. If you're doing it on the floor, so make sure it's nice and safe. If you're jacking it up, make sure it's nice and safe. Right? Okay. The our main objective is to take the brake caliper off. So basically, now what we need to do is we need to take this little these little plastic covers off. The one there. Just flick them off. Another one here. Flick that one off. But we've got a size seven Allen key in there, in there, and in there. Let's go ahead and take them off. The size seven Allen key. Can't really get that wrong. Size seven Allen key. Crack this one. Crack both both of them first. So basically, loosen both of them first, and then go ahead and take the bottom one off totally first. And then you go ahead and take the top one off in that order. If you take the top one off and then you go to take the bottom one off, it might just swing you know, onto you. So bottom one off first, top one off, let's go. Okay, these are totally off, these Allen key studs are totally off, but obviously they're still connected there as you can see there. Okay, so all you need is flat screwdriver and just push them out like that as you can see that one minute I'll try focusing just push them out like that from this side same on the top as well that way it's totally separated from the hub and the carrier and you should be able to pry this brake caliper off let's go right if it puts up a little bit of a fight what you do is you get the flat screwdriver or a pry bar whatever you got just put it in between the rotor the disc and the brake pad and just push the pad off the disc and then that should come straight off Obviously you would be holding it with the other hand. I'm just showing you guys. That's why I'm doing it with one hand. But you would be holding it with the other hand. Or else you don't want this swinging and falling on you. So there we go, like that. There we go, brake caliper is off, brake pad is there. They just come straight off, so break this one. Just flick that one off. On the floor, there we go. This one here, it goes onto the caliper. Just take it off the caliper. There we go, that one is off. Right, the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the piston back in, and uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, as you can see there, I've got the uh, piston pushback tool there. Dead, dead easy, just uh, push it back with the wind back tool or the pushback tool. If you haven't got one of these, absolutely dead easy, just get one of these, big dogs, pipe pliers, and you can just do that and push it in. Uh, main objective is to get the piston, the caliper piston, back in there. So yeah, let's do that. Let's push that in and we'll go from there. Okay, the next thing what we're going to do is you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Uh, if you haven't got a wire mesh or anything like that, you don't have to do this. So we're going to take these off. Okay, the sliders, the slider bolts. We're going to give them a clean out. Okay, the next thing what I'm going to do is this part you don't have to do as well if you don't want to. But I recommend you do, you know, a nice practice kind of thing. And it makes everything go on nice and easy. So anyway, get a wire brush. The carrier, just give that up some wiring out, wiring brush out. 
clean it up basically. Same on the top as well. You get the picture, clean them out and then we'll get the pads on. Happy days, let's go. Right, okay, ready for the refit basically. We've got the brake pad here. Can't really get it wrong. Put it on there. It should make sure it's nice and free. You don't want it to be jammed up. You don't want to be forcing it on nicely, nicely on there. Same on the inside one. It goes there. But obviously you can't fit it there. You need to put that, put this into the caliper. Okay, so basically this will go in here. It's spring loaded, so basically it will go in. You just have to force it on. Uh, this part onto there, but make sure it's nice and free here Okay, so uh, yeah, let's get that on if you want put a bit of copper grease on there or ceramic grease I normally use the brake ceramic grease this one If you don't have to if you don't want to you don't have to if you don't want to but yeah Put that on if you can and uh, yeah, let's get the caliper back on Right guys as you can see there, I've got the caliper back on there obviously not tightened up or anything like that uh, what, the reason why I've not tightened it up is I want to show you guys these here You know the slider bolts the Allen key the 7mm Allen key make sure you put them on With your fingers first, okay? Don't go gunning them on or putting them on with the ratchet straight up Put them on with your fingers with your hand all the way or 99% all the way That way, you know, you're not cross threading it or anything like that Once it's on there Near enough in there you can go ahead and tighten it up with the ratchet so basically ratchet I've got no torque settings or anything on here just basically tighten it up that's tight next one there we go put these back on another one here okay as for the clip Right, reason why I put the clip on last, you never put the clip on first. If you put it on first, when you try to get the bolts in, what's gonna happen is uh, you might end up cross-threading it because it'll put too much tension on it. So what we do is, to get the clip back on, not the hardest thing in the world, but not easy. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll end up messing it up. So give me a minute. Basically what we do is, you get the top end on first, into there, okay? And then that goes over like that. Okay, and then you get the flat screwdriver There's a little Like a locator or a lug there on the brake pad Just use that to pry, use that to pry the uh, clip Keep on prying it, keep on prying it Boom, there we go On Okay guys, brake pads are on, wheels back on again, obviously tighten it up on the floor. If you're doing it on the floor, make sure you lower the jack and then recheck them on the floor. Gun should be tight enough, but just recheck them with the strong arm. We're going to send it down, pump the brakes up, put the brake fluid cap back on, and that's it. Happy days, job done. Well there we have it guys, all done and dusted. Voxel Corsa 2018 front brake pad replacement. Dead, dead easy. Like I mentioned, you can do it outside your house, on the drive, no problem whatsoever. Basic tools. Another thing I'm going to add to that is when you finish uh, fitting the brake pads and everything is done, dusted, t wheels tightened up and everything, when you take it for a drive, after you pump it up, make sure you pump it up. Make sure you pump it up because you don't want to be hitting the brakes first time around. You've got no brakes, okay? When you take it for a drive first time around, just bear that in mind that the brakes are going to be slightly soft, okay? If you're replacing the rotors, the brake discs that is, and the brake pads then it should be all right slightly soft but it should be okay but because we've just replaced the brake pads brakes will be slightly soft they'll have to bed into the old disc and yeah that's it but you know one two about a day day and a half it should be all right anyway i hope this video helps you guys out if it didn't help you guys out i'm sorry try my best please like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for me leave a comment in the comment section raul tv team r4ul we'll see you guys next time bad luck <laughs> Let's go.